I'm saying I don't need health. So that's the finger gun. And also I'm not gonna be cheating during this game. I forgot to mention. I have all my suits. I have all my suits for free. Alright. I'm not gonna I'm gonna buy each suit and I'm not gonna cheat. I'm only gonna get the suit when I get the stasis pack. As I don't get the pack, then I'm not gonna get the suit. So you're gonna see me buying all the suits. I'm not gonna use any upgrade weapons. I'm only using natural. This is a force playthrough of hardcore mode. So I'm not gonna use any cheats in this. This is all raw for you guys and for your entertainment. I've been seeing these crappy people that have been cheating online. And I'm not part of that. I like to be a raw gamer and truly embrace the challenge of Dead Space. My favorite things about being games like Resident Evil, Bioshock 2 is when you don't have a lot of ammunition, you don't have a lot of health, and there's a swarm of bad guys. So this guy's the tripod. And he's you're gonna find majority, so this guy's new. Alright, so you don't want this bastard jump on you because he will fuck you up. Alright, so you basically shoot his arm off, use your stasis. So right now your gun sucks. And also, um, See the middle thing? The guy can't knock it down. Alright. So I think for each arm, I don't know, it might be 20 something hits for each arm. Alright. And also remember this once you chop his arm off, he is still dangerous. Alright. He has his tongue and he has his other arm. So just keep shooting his arm. And you have a stasis pack that keeps uh, refilling. Alright. So you shouldn't really get damage at all here. Also pick up the spear ammunition, those boxes. So this guy is really easy to kill. Alright. Yep, there you go. Also do not charge him at all. Cause he still got one in the chamber. Yeah. As you were charged him, you possibly could have brought down you to rare. Alright. This game, you got see they give you health majority of the time. Alright. So, the thing, this is going to be a strategy of the game. We're going to mostly be using the plasma cutter and uh, rigging the suit of uh, um, hit points. Damage, is, you don't know what damage does. Damage is basically melee damage and air. Alright. So, basically we're going to get into chapter 2. Alright. So, people, people ask me of saying, I'm not so good at this game. When should I really save? Okay, I'm scared I'm gonna die. Okay, as you're worried about that, I recommend you save in chapter 3 for a normal game guy, okay? For the more experienced gamer, I recommend saving during chapter 5. Now, as you have the 360, is possibly you can make it to chapter 7. Even if you die in chapter 7, you still restore it back at the checkpoint, but only as you have the Xbox 360, okay? As you have the PS3, I recommend you save during Chapter 6 when you fight the for the first time. So here we go. Alright, so right here, um, they're going to give you some weapons. But we're only going to be using the Plasma Cutter for the majority of the time. It's the most effective weapon here, okay? Later on, we'll buy some weapons, but later on, it's not to like Chapter 7 and Chapter freaking 9 when we buy weapons so it's a long chapter to go All right so basically we're gonna put in damage and uh, reloadability and damage All right so I'm a little dangerous on this side I put majority of my gun because I know I handle this is you guys are uncomfortable I recommend putting in your hit point damage alright so uh, once you move this, this is gonna be a necromorph right here Alright, just squish them. Make them into a jelly sandwich. Alright. Little boxes. More health. Also, the majority, I don't, the reason why I don't like to carry so much health on me is because as you carry so much health and you need ammunition, you don't have any ammo on you, you basically, you don't have a lot of room in your suit. And each suit makes it stronger and more powerful. So give this guy good stuffing and I don't know why they give me line cutter in. 
The most annoying thing about this game is this. They give you the wrong ammunition, man. I have the freaking plasma cutter. Not the line gun, the plasma cutter. Give me the right freaking ammo, okay? When I'm surrounded by necromorphs, I don't want to use damn lane. Got him. So, this is what I was talking about the doors. Doors basically, they have uh, this, and this you can sell. Them. This could go up from 10000 25000 30000 thousand dollars And those discs are really beneficial to get, especially when you need ammunition and uh, health. Okay. So, basically, we're going to just sell this, and um, I think we buy another power note. I'm pretty sure we buy another power note. Okay. So, basically, we're just keeping this on us. That's the finger can right there, the real red thing. Uh, basically, it looks like, you know, those ones in the baseball game, the big finger. So, we're going to put this basically towards a suit right here. Okay. Never mind, we're putting towards a gun. So, here we go. So, basically, we're making a gun a bad mother. Because when we're coming through Necromorphs, we're chopping them up limb from limb. So, here we go. All right. So chapter two, once you do this, once you open that door, next time you go back in the room where you got the disc, uh, there will be uh, two necromorphs inside there. So do not be shocked that there is two more necromorphs here. All right. Right there. There we go. One shot, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Once you power up your disc, you can own anything. All right. So once you do this, one guy will come and you give him the pyramid, smack him with a chair. One shot, one kill. There we go. And then again, they give me stupid line cutter ammo. I don't need that. Alright, so uh, here we go. You Sorry about that. That was uh, the panda in the back, and he thought he could burp in my freaking walkthrough. So this guy's name's Frank, and Frank wanted to get on the thing. He's like, what's up, Frank? How you hanging, man? Hey, Frank, Frank. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I guess Frank's not going to make it. So also, let's talk about some other things. How about those jungle cats? So you don't know what the jungle cat is. Some people call it the scorpion. I call it the jungle cat. Jungle cat is the animal... With the saber two teeth, two arms, and the big swampy tail. So this bastard can give you a bad day. He is quick and he is fast. As that thing hops on you and you're not tapping A, you're gonna die. So boom! So this is probably gonna be the first hard level for most of you. They are playing this. You can die here. I'm not talking about this part. Don't forget about the puker in the bathroom. When you turn around, there'll be one more necromorph. Come in here. He's like, hey, man, what's up? You want some? Also, as you guys remember, these guys play possum. Do not go near their head because they could hop on you. All right, so this is the room we're talking about. There's going to be a lot of bad bitches in this room. All right. So, my strategy for this is to shoot out the air conductors right there. Shoot them out. So you know when your enemies are going to jump down. What's going to jump down here is about five necromorphs with the claws. One puker and one jungle cat. So the thing I'm really worried about is the jungle cat. Because he'll kill you and he'll really mess you. There we go, the puker. Now the guy you gotta worry about is Jungle Cat, man. Here he comes. There he is. So, I got lucky here. Because I guess I'm I know, I'm like, wow. I know. I got overwhelmed here. And let me tell you about this. This is just the easy part of the game. This hasn't even got hard yet. That's the fun thing about Death Space. Being in a room with a bunch of necromorphs and just owning them. It's kind of sad too. You gotta think about this. Isaac, he is a space freaking miner. Engineer, slash engineer. He's not a soldier. So you telling me a bunch of highly trained soldiers with combat weapons, highly technology, cannot handle a bunch of necromorphs.
but one space engineer can to me that sounds pretty fishy so it's kind of like what's that game called half-life also you don't have to worry about health here they give you about they give you about three health packs here so that's why I'm not picking my health packs yet because and also in case I get down and I'm not high on money I always could go back to the machine and uh, collect my health packs so here we go I'm doing the moon shuffle baby this is the fifth suit as you guys played the original one this is the fifth suit and this suit sucks it does it really does so you really want to save your money that's why I don't recommend you buy so many guns at the beginning of this game all right so there is new enemies in this game there's babies are explosive shit you got the Raptors you got jungle cats are new you got tripods you got Lindsay Lohan nope nope that's another game I'm talking about alright so this level is with your my favorite freaking guy the jungle cat I hate that bastard so the trick with that guy is to chop off one arm as you chop off one arm He's basically gonna do the angry pirate. If you don't want the angry pirates, ask your dad. As you're a kid, as you're a grown up and you don't know what the angry pirate is, then ask your uncle. As he doesn't know what it is, then ask your grandma. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are basically guys are explosive popcorn guys. These guys basically have explosive shit on their hand. And as you near these guys close enough, they can kill you with one hit. So these guys are really dangerous. So whenever these guys are coming, stay away from them. Try to shoot their hand off as you can. Then shoot the explosive shit on the hand. Alright. So again, they give me javelin. Which I don't know why. I don't have a javelin gun. I basically have the plasma cutter. Alright, so this next level... That's why we're almost ready to get to chapter 3 about that. So here we go. We've got spooky ass Nicole. Because she's basically a stalker. And she has no life. And she all she wants to do is make Isaac suffer. And that train was the SS Everyone's Game Born Alive Express. So here we go. Alright. So this thing is the baddie. And you don't know what the baddie is. What he does is whenever you see humans on the ground, stop the living shit out of them. So this guy tried to claw my feet. I was like, hey, baddie, I don't think so. Nope, not my watch. You know, I don't judge things, but that can look kind of sexual in a sick way. So... I like to play the game called Stomp the Nards, which basically means Stomp the Balls. Okay. So in this train, you can make a ton of spears to save you ammunition. So, all right. This is going to be the first time you come across these little uh, puzzles, but they're really easy to show. And like I said in the demo, is this game makes these, this is this going to be fucking repetitive. Why did you do this, Dead Space? I told you. Why did you have to do this? It's repetitive. It's nonsense. Why can't it just be hacking? Don't even get me on hacking, man. I'm not a good hacker. Don't talk about Fallout with me. And don't even mention Batman Ark Asylum. Because that, you can ask my friends. When I hack, it looks like my guy just took a whole bunch of PCP. And he's jerking off at the same time. Alright, so here we go. Necromorph. Shoot him with basically uh, the spears. Alright, so there's gonna be two Necromorphs in this one. Two guys with claws, and then you got the spitter. AKA Mr. Puker. Shut up. Sh so that's why you guys really wanna upgrade your. Um, your uh, plasma cutter. Because it's basically two hits. Okay? And as you guys get the other ammo that's left over, just sell the shit. That's what you do with it. You're not going to get tons of money worth it. Some you will, some you won't. 
This guy's basically a 